So welcome, today we will talk about composition of operators. So in the last time we saw some of the basic operators, and today to understand how more than one operators can be used in the single query and we will also see certain queries of that. So this is called a composition of operators. So the, the same, the, the operators can be applied one after another and it is, has to be defined in what way the composition can take place. So, so it essentially uses multiple operations. So, for example, so suppose R is A, B and 1, 1, 1, 2, this is the same example that we saw earlier and S is C, D, E with 1, 2, 7, 2, 6, 8 and 5, 7, 9. Now, suppose the operation that we are working on is this sigma of A equal to C on R Cartesian product S. Now, this is has to be understood in which way it is happening. So, this happens first this one is being done, this is number 1 operation, then after that this is done. So, this is number 2 operation. So, essentially what is being done is initially R cross S is produced. So, A, B, C, D, E that is being produced and that is that entire 1, 1, let me just write it down to make it complete, 2, 6, 8, 1, 1, 5, 7, 9, 1, 2, 1, 2, 7, 1, 2, 2, 6, 8, 1, 2, 5, 7, 9. So, this is the R cross S that is produced, then the sigma of A dot c is produced on the same thing. So, so the first one the first r cross s changes the schema, the second one does not change the schema and the second one produces the answer which is on a equal to c here. So, the first one is correct, this one is right, this one is wrong, this one is wrong, this one is again right. So, 1, 2, 1, 2, 7, this is wrong, this is wrong that is it. So, this is the final answer for the query above. So, well that completes uh, the set of basic operators. So, we will go over the examples uh, next. So, let us uh, work on with some of the examples for the 6 basic operators uh, that we just uh, saw. So, here is a banking example that uh, we will use uh, many, many times. So, let me just explain the example. So, there are 6 uh, different relations in this. The first one is a branch. So, the branch has the attributes branch name and branch city. So, where is the branch name and which city it is in? The second one is a customer relationship. So, the all the customers. So, the customer name and let us say the customer city. So, which city the customer it is in and by the way, so I am underlining the primary key. So, branch name is the primary key and customer name is the primary key. Then there is an account. So, the account is about uh, all the accounts that is there. So, its account name is the primary key and which branch it is in. So, the branch name. So, branch name as you can see is a foreign key. So, balance. So, the foreign key let me highlight it using the blue color and then let us go to the next thing which is loan. Now, loan is about a same kind of thing like an account, but it is a loan number and a branch name and the amount of the loan. Once more, this is the primary key and this is the foreign key. Finally, there are two things which is depositor depositor has who is the customer that took this customer name and which account number that is it. So, both are primary keys together both are primary keys and both are actually also foreign keys. We will come to the nuances of this later, but suppose and the last one is the borrower. Borrower has a customer name. So, who borrowed what and which loan that is borrowed. So, once more these are both primary keys as well as foreign keys. 
All right. So with these things, let us try to solve uh, certain types of queries. So let me use this part to use the thing. So the first query that we will try to solve is find all loans of uh, rupees 100 or over. So how do we solve it? So this is first of all we need to understand that this is a query about a loan. So this is the loan table that we need to look into and essentially there is an amount attribute that we need to use and using that we can simply do a, this thing. So select all tuples from loan where this amount is greater than or equal to 100. That's it. So that uh, solves this query. So find all loans of rupees 400 or over. So this uh, returns everything. Loan numbers. So find all loan numbers of loans which has got rupees 100 or over. So it's kind of the same thing but except now what needs to be done. So it, it has to be the same kind of thing. So you first find out all loans that are greater than 100 or over but we only need the loan number so you project it on the loan number that's it this is the important part we just project it on the loan number so this is the important part that is the change from the previous query all right so let us now move on to a little more complicated query so the query is the following find names of all customers so having a loan at the, at let us say ABC branch. So the branch name is ABC. So now the important part is to do that we need to find the names of all customers. So the first thing that we need to use is this table, the customer table. But unfortunately the customer table by itself does not contain any information about the loan. So for the loan we need to use this table where the branch name is there. But again what happens is that so the loan table will contain the branch name etc and we only need to find out the names of all the customers. So instead of this table we may use this table the borrower because that contains the customer name. So we can simply use instead of this table we can this, use this table and we need to do a joy or whatever borrower and loan. So this is the Cartesian product that we need to take. So if you take the borrower Cartesian product of loan, we get the information of customer name, loan number, loan number, branch name and amount for all the possible loans. But this will have, this will generate some what is called a spurious tuple. If you just do this Cartesian's product, this will generate what is called a spurious tuple because what will happen is that so there will be some customer name corresponding to some loan number let us say a customer name C1 corresponding to loan number L1 and then there is a loan number L2 here with some let us say B2 and A2 this will generate tuples of the form C1, L1, L2, B2, A2 which is not useful because the loan numbers are different so what we need to do is to ensure that this is the same loan number. So for that what we will do is we f instead of just doing this what we will do is that we will select from this table everything where the borrower dot loan number so let me just uh, write it shorthand borrower dot loan number is equal to loan dot loan number. So this we need to select it on this table. So this will then get rid of tuples like this and it will essentially only select tuples of the following form. So this is what we require and this essentially means that customer C1 has a loan L1 and corresponding to the loan on one this is in this branch B2 and has the amount A2. Now we only need to find out the loans where this is at ABC branch so what we need to do is to do another selection on top of this so this is one part this is another part so then we need to do sigma over so everything where the branch name is ABC so this you have to select on branch name is equal to ABC and that is applied over this entire thing so this is what it is done.
So this is the entire answer to this query. So if you now want to do find names of all customers, then this is still not complete. Then we need to put in some more level here. And let me just try to do it here. So this is another, there are three brackets here. So this will be somewhere here. This we used to do, do a pi of C name. Because we only need to do the uh, customer name. So essentially, if we go down a little bit, this is the way to write down the entire query. This is pi of C name of sigma branch name is equal to A, B, C, which is sigma borrower dot loan number is equal to loan dot loan number and let us complete that borrower cross loan. So this is the answer to the entire query that we were doing. So this is an example that shows you how we quite a complicated query like find names of all customers having a loan. So there are many, many things here can be broken down into small, small parts and then solve one at a time. And uh, we can do many more such queries. So for example, we can use this to say, well, instead of having a loan at ABC branch, find me all customers having a loan at uh, ABC branch, but not any account. So what you then you need to do is you need to ensure that the customer doesn't have an account. So you need to take the set difference from this depositor. So the depositor needs to be set difference done with that. All right. So we'll leave this as an exercise to you. But uh, the basic idea is to how to use only these six of these operators, the basic operators to solve different queries. So if that is all done, so in the next module, we'll move into the additional operators.